I went through about $50,000 of my savings that I could have had for any day. Just let me start a new beginning. Because they really, really, really hurt me. Mario. Yo, welcome to the Great Exuma Point. Well, we look like we meet again. It's not yes. fire festival, but it's a different party. It's oh. a wedding party today. Boy. So at least we're getting paid today. Oh, yes, we are indeed. <laughs> Everybody here were very excited about fire festival. It was supposed to generate lots of money here in the economy of Exuma and the Bahamas at large. I was one of the bus drivers that shuttled the persons doing the fire fest. Thanks. As we were going in, some of the guys was like, guys, we have landed on the moon. You know, this is actually the location we brought the persons the day of the event, which never happened. Fire Festival was a disaster. I was there preparing hundreds and hundreds of meals and I was not able to be paid. Out of savings, I'm sure I've spent more than $50,000 in bills that I am still trying to, you know, overcome at this time. One of my wonderful friends had made a decision to assist me with setting up a GoFundMe account. And when people watch the documentary, they contribute some $5, some $10, some $20,000. Oh, I felt very good about it. I realized if you do things from the heart, it pays off. And I just want to say thank you to everyone all over the world throughout the length and breadth. Thank you so much for just lending a helping hand to someone when they needed you most. There's still love in this world. I am amazed. I didn't know I would ever be a celebrity in my lifetime, but here am I. Everyone is, can I take a picture? And I like, never dream of it, but it can happen overnight. It's so unfortunate that sometimes a few dollars comes in the midst of good friendship. I didn't have a link to my own GoFundMe account because I just trusted that person to deal with this for me. And so I depend on her as a, a friend. And then she tried to screw me right up by signing a contract that she get almost a half of my monies. Fire screw you, you, you go to GoFundMe, now you get some monies, this person want to screw you. You don't want to say in this world you don't trust nobody because it's so sad to say that. But God, who do you trust? It was like a gun to my head, sign it or you lose your money. So I say, you know what? Let the money go back to the senders because it's not fair to them. It's not for me to share. I received some of the monies thanks to GoFundMe. They heard my story and they knew it was the truth and they were willing to work with me. Have you had people in the island approach you asking for money? Yes, I've had a lot of people, not just in the island of Exuma, but the other family islands throughout the Commonwealth of the Bahamas who need help. They want a few dollars and, you know, I just want to be able to, if not give them a lot, give them a little. A lot is in a little when God is in it. So I plan to just bless people in those small areas with $100 and give the church the 10% to establish it throughout the land and bread. And I would need to, you know, people who I know really work hard in the fire festival, offer them a few dollars. It's not a lot of money, but a little is much if you give it from the heart. You know, I'm happy that somebody's getting something for the wages, for the work they put in. Do you think she'll give you some money? Well, definitely I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no, but she always sent business my way and that's why my school bus is here today. This is my husband Elvis, the best thing that ever happened to me. When those guys came along and wanted to interview us, I sent my wife to do it, because I was very upset about it. But now I see where it's going, so I felt good about it and I'm happy now to be involved. <laughs>
We are up to 200,000 at this time. Well, the plan for it is to modernize Exuma Point Beach Barn Grill to meet world standard and that I would be able to accommodate an event like Fire Festival had it ever come our way again. We need things like that on these family of islands. We need to invite tourists and it's nothing like doing it in Exuma in the family of islands. That is something um, in the back of my mind, it can work. It's all unique and a wonderful Bahamian experience here, one you'll never forget. These things really bite you. Oh up. yes. <laughs> let's not tell yeah. let's not tell the world that. <laughs> we gotta tell them it's just great. Yeah. <laughs> but they are a mess.